There's nothing quite like flowers when it comes to bringing some natural colour and beauty into our gardens and into our homes. In fact, we spend around £2 billion a year on cut flowers, but only 10% of those are produced in the UK. But now a new breed of British growers is determined to change that. Margarita reports. Peonies, delphiniums, English roses, sweet pea, this vibrant larkspur, or this gorgeous fever few. For me, these British blooms are a sure sign summer is here. It's one of the things I love most about this time of year. There's no better way of bringing a home alive than with freshly cut flowers, a simple celebration of the season. We used to take enormous pride in our homegrown cut flowers, but today around 90% of the flowers we buy are imported, some of them travelling over 3,000 miles to get to us. And yet we've got a climate here ideally suited for growing them. Many of us are used to seeking out seasonal and locally grown fruit and veg. We've cottoned on to the fact that by buying locally, we're likely to get better quality and fresher ingredients. But why doesn't that apply to our cut flowers? It seems we Brits don't quite take the same care in the sourcing of our blooms as we do our food. But is that right? There's stuff here that's good quality. It's always fresher, it always tastes better. You're looking for seasonal produce as far as your food is concerned. Lovely to think that that extends into the flowers too. With more than 20 years' experience in horticulture, Claire Brown believes there's money to be made growing British blooms. Four years ago, she planted an acre and a half of flowers on her farm, and now business is blooming. Claire, great to see Hi, you. Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. But it's not all been plain sailing. She understands why the public have been slow to take up homegrown flowers. A lot of it's to do with seasonality. We can't supply everything all the time. Um, you have to be a lot more open to what's available at different times of the year. Um, and also, I think that a lot of people don't know that flowers are imported through Holland from a long way away. And have you seen a growing demand for British flowers? Definitely, yes, I have a range of customers who are florists and who are brides wanting events uh, and local customers wanting bouquets as well. And what is it you think that the public love about British flowers? Well, there's lots of scent because they haven't had to travel, they haven't had to be refrigerated. There's real freshness about the flowers. Um, there's a wide variety. I grow lots of things that wouldn't suit traveling long distances, but because they don't have to go anywhere, it's absolutely fine. Claire, so what are we cutting today? Uh, so today we're going to cut Achillea, which is a lovely summer flower. We're looking for uh, flowers which are completely open, and then we want to pick them as low as we can and then we're going to strip off the leaves. How many varieties of flower do you actually grow? We grow over 280 varieties during the year. Um, we have a whole range of flowers um, all year round, but mostly between April and October. Who are we picking these ones for today? Uh, these are going to Vanessa, one of my florists, and we need to get them in water in the barn so that they're conditioned by the time she gets here. One of the biggest and fastest growing areas of Claire's business is supplying weddings, and Vanessa Burley's finding that more and more of her brides are asking for seasonal local flowers. Vanessa, good to see you. I believe this is your order. Thank you. How long have you been buying flowers from Claire? Three years, so I found Claire and her lovely flowers, and it's really changed the way that I design flowers. And what is it about the cut British flower that people love so much? They love the unusual varieties that you don't see in other places. They love that they've come from a short distance away, a car journey rather than being flown. And in fact, I've got a couple who are getting married in December who want exclusively all British flowers and foliage for their wedding. And they care about the environment. They're really going the ecological route. Well, I know you've got a bride waiting for these particular blooms, <laughs> so I won't get in your way. I can't wait to see what the bouquet looks like when you've made it up. Whether it's a bridal bouquet or a splash of colour to brighten up the home, increasingly, we Brits are taking notice of the provenance of our flowers. Seasonality has become fashionable again, and you can't beat a British summer bouquet.
A resurgence in British flower growers has seen farms like Claire's springing up across the country. And with sites like these, that can only be a good thing. So next time you're wanting to buy flowers, perhaps consider our fields and farmers for your seasonal blooms.